Hey, what's up guys? It's Christina from Photo Sprouts Photography Workshops here. I'm traveling to Hong Kong and currently I'm being quarantined in a hotel here. Today is my second week of my 21 day quarantine and I'm so happy that I have some videos to work on. So you guys, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. You can make such a huge difference to my hotel quarantine. Today I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of a photo shoot in a beautiful UC Berkeley campus. The model is Akriti super popular and professional you guys gotta follow her on instagram so here's the outline first i will show you at the back of my camera how i exposed for the ambient light by adjusting the iso aperture and the shutter speed and what would happen if there was no flash and then i would add a flash and let you see the magic after you have seen me demonstrate using an off-camera flash we will start the photo shoot in a first location in the campus as usual, I will shoot um, in the natural light and then add a flash as a soft fill light to remove the shadow on her face and then power up the flash and underexpose the ambient light. The behind the scenes of the second and the third locations will be in the next video. So let's get started. So right now we're shooting the model in full sun and as you can see, uh, the background is very bright while she's in the shade and she's very dark. Um, if I turn off the flash and now I'm exposing for the background, my aperture is f4 which is the widest that I can go because I'm using a Sony 24-105. So I'm going to expose for the background, okay, I'm going to like, oops, I'm going to use 1 800 of a second so that um, the color of the sky will pop. Let me do a test shot. Okay, now the background is good, but the model is way underexposed. Without a flash, if I expose for the model, exposing for the model means she will be correctly exposed. However, the background will be super bright. So, in order to balance the ambient light, which is the background light, and also um, the models, I'm going to turn on the flash, okay? And before I click my shutter, I will just expose for the ambient. Power is 132 and let's see how it goes. Alright, pretty, ready? Look at me, one, two, three, smile! Okay, she's brighter but not bright enough. So what you need to do is just to turn on the flash power. Okay, four. That's good. Okay, ready? Can you look at that tree over there? Yeah, beautiful. Love it. Love it. Okay, nice. And now look at me. Alrighty then. So good. Yeah, a few more. The recycle time of this flash might be five to eight seconds. So we'll wait for a little bit. Yeah, good. So lucky to have such a beautiful model. Beautiful. As you can see, the flash was lighting up her face. However, the position of the flash was not correct because just half of her face was lit, but the other half was not. So I'm gonna make some adjustment. Yeah, that's perfect. Good, let's do a few more. Okay, um, can you look at that, like the tree? Right here, right above. Beautiful. Yeah, put your left hand on your thigh. Yeah, good. So pretty. A little like put it on your knee, right on your knee. Yeah, good. So pretty. When I'm shooting in natural light, I will have to find an open shade. 
An open shade is a shady area that can protect my subject from the harsh sunlight and at the same time the background is not so bright. So here I'm adjusting my angles so that I will see a background that is not so bright but at the same time I will get some nice hair light on the critique. You have a lot of portfolios. Yeah, I see your Instagram. A lot of photographers, different photographers are. You know, <laughs> wow, that's a lot too. <laughs> yeah, like if quarantine continues for one year, and I don't think I can see that. Wow, <laughs> how often do you model? Every, what? Three times a week. Yeah, that's. And one week. Wow, that's. Is it? During the quarantine or, or what? Quarantine? Like I never like I'm not the hobby kind of guy. So even quarantine no quarantine, I don't have much. Right. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use the light as a very soft fill flash. I'll keep the ambient exposure. Good. Okay. Super soft. Look at me with your big, beautiful eyes. Good. Slide your... Yeah, yeah. Touch your necklace like this. Yes, good, good. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to use the flash as the main light. It's going to be very dramatic. So first, I will underexpose the background. Right now, I'm shooting at 1 1,000th of a second. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ex expose for the background and make it super dark, like this. 2,500 of a second. And then turn on the flash, take a test shot. I might have to raise the power, yeah. Right now, my flash power is 132. I'm gonna raise it to, let's see, let's try 18. Okay. Dramatic shot. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Look at me, beautiful eyes. Good, good. Hold on there, hold on there. Yeah. Like this. Make it even more dramatic. Okay. One fourth. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. No worries. Wow, so cool. So here you can change the subject exposure by adjusting the power of a flash. So the higher the power, the brighter the subject. And notice that the subject exposure is independent of the ambient exposure. Left hand a little higher, maybe on your shoulder. Oh yeah, on your finger, yeah. And then right hand touching the elbow. Good, well, so elegant, good. Now you see the difference, I mean, using the flash as a soft fill versus using the flash as the main light. Well, why don't we just underexpose the background more? Let's make it one four thousand of a second, okay? So a test shot. Now the background is now darker than before, but since we're, sh we're using high speed sync, I need to raise the power to compensate for the increase in shutter speed. Let's do half the power. Hey, yay. I'm also learning. <laughs> You're learning, oh yeah. Look at me straight like this, open your eyes, turn all the way towards the camera like this. Yes, yes, good, love that hair, good. So nice. Cross your hand and put one hand on your hair. Yeah, 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 like this. And look, look at the camera like this. Yes, good, so pretty, oh my gosh. 
Look down. Let me show me your beautiful eyelashes. Love it. Good. Okay. Look at that. Oh, awesome. That's <laughs> lovely. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Here's a comparison of using just the natural light and a flash as a fill light and a flash as the main light with different ambient exposures. So which one do you like better? So I hope you like this video. I'm gonna work out now. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye! We're Photo Sprouts Photography Workshops in San Francisco and Palo Alto. Equipment is provided for beginners so that they don't have to buy a camera to come to a photography class.